Hello, welcome to Under the First Floor Lo-Fi Podcast, shitty recordings of bands you should like. My name's David Settle, and on today's episode, we have Rid of Me, a new band from Philadelphia who hasn't even played their first show yet. They started playing right before the pandemic and have just been writing a record in the meantime. They played a bunch of new songs from the unreleased record that's coming out. I first heard of them whenever Ruben from Soul Glow joined up and I checked it out and it was really cool, uh, noise rock. And it was members of the great old noise rock band Fight Amp from Philadelphia who put out a bunch of records uh, in the 2000s and 2010s that were really great. Uh, so it was really cool to hear a new band from that. Uh, they played a bunch of new songs. We talked about them adding and writing a whole record without even playing a show. And it was a really fun conversation. So without further ado, here is their first song uh, called Myself from the upcoming new record. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> play drums. I'm Itaria. I play bass and sing. I'm Mike. I play guitar. Ruben, I play guitar. Cool. Thank you. Does someone want to give like a little short history of the band? Itaria and I were in another band called Low Dose. That band became inactive. We wanted to keep playing music. Howard wanted to play music with us. This was like, what, the end of 2019, I guess? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We kind of rapidly wrote our first like batch of songs and snuck in a quick recording uh, the very beginning of February. And then the pandemic happened uh, <laughs> and like a month and a half later. We kept trading songs back and forth. We wanted to 
bring Ruben into the band for another uh, voice and guitar, and then we just kept playing through the pandemic, and now here we are. We yeah, we recorded an LP that's going to come out at the end of the year, and that's really it. The pandemic kind of put a weird spin on the whole thing. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> as it does. Yeah. Did a lot of demoing. <laughs> yes, lots of demoing. Yeah, Mike has like a cool recording set up in his basement, so we did a lot of recording there. Oh, sick. Yeah. I guess before when you were just a three piece. What was it that made you want to like expand the band and expand the sound? Was that like kind of started as a live band thing at all, or is that something that y'all have always wanted since the beginning of the band? Uh, I think it's for me. It started after we started playing and like hearing the EP and shit. Like I was like, I don't yeah, know. We just it was such a short period of time being a three piece that it wasn't. We were still figuring the band out. And then it just sort of just became apparent that that we should have another layer, another opinion, another uh, yeah, Brain. you know, another personality. It just yeah. it just seemed natural. It wasn't really like a as a three piece. We only had three band practices before recording the yeah, we were, piece. Yeah, we were we were barely a three piece. Yeah, yeah. So gotcha. they had demoed songs and ideas. Mike sent it to me. We hashed it out really quick, just online sending yeah. stuff. So it was like me that had band practice. Gotcha. We already had four songs. Yeah. You know? That's yeah. why the history would have been a lot different if we had gone, if that tour had happened. Who knows? Maybe it would have been apparent or maybe not, you know, but yeah. So y'all have played in bands for a long time. <laughs> uh, obviously, this year was fucking weird for bands. 
how the you, you said you didn't even play a show with this band, right? No, no, we show. haven't played a show no, no. yet. Before Ruben was in rid of me, we were going on tour together in May of 2020 uh, with Soul Glow and rid of me, and then yeah, gotcha. I remember those final texts like somewhere around like March 2nd, <laughs> be like. Ruben, is this gonna happen? Yeah. You know, and then thinking back, like, why would I ever? How would, would uh-huh. anyone know? You know, like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you tell me. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. So, th- did, yeah, we had a tour, and it's, yeah. and then it didn't happen. So, how did it feel like putting together a full record and recording it without even playing a show after like years of playing in bands and like weird? Uh, <laughs> first time I ever did that. I don't know about. Yeah. yeah, it's weird not having like that payoff playing it live. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very it, weird. It yeah. was different. Very I different. can't say I didn't like it. It was still a cool process. <laughs> yeah, you know? like yeah, that... not doing the tour honestly pushed us to take our time to make decisions to yeah. get Ruben like caught up with all of us and like start writing the record all together. We wouldn't have done that if we would have been just tour mode. That's true. You know, yeah. maybe we wouldn't even gotten Ruben in the band as fast because we would have all just been like, hey, what's the next show? We're home. Let's just keep going. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were able to kind of... We were able to focus and... on an album more mm-hmm. than a little bit of the album, shows, album, you know, so that's... Yeah, we really like... Generally old bands would do that anyway. Them. Tour for a couple of years, chill for a year and write yeah. a record and like, take it easy and then <laughs> hit the road again.
So I think you all said you played like half new songs tonight and half uh, older songs. I guess of what you played tonight, is there a part or a song that is like your favorite or sticks out to you that you're really stoked on? I like Big Roo. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Dealer, yeah. 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 That song actually came out way fucking cooler than I thought it was going to initially. Like, after hearing it, like, recorded, it kind of gave me a new perspective on it. I really fucking dig that song. Came together while recording. Yeah, yeah. I really did. Yeah, I agree uh, with that. Yeah. Dealing, the big riff. Big riff, is sick, <laughs> big yeah. Riff. What happened more in the studio with that song compared to, like, practice? Like, I think the vision was just seen through and a lot of the way we were writing music together during the pandemic was through like especially in the beginning when we we were kind of locked down we were just demo trading Mm -hmm. and once we eventually started coming here with Ruben and just kind of playing together yeah it just like I just think the vision wasn't really seen through until we were really until we were in my basement recording it because even even when we were doing the live tracks, some of it had changed in, in between the, so. It was one of the last demoed songs we did before going into track the LP. Yeah. So yeah. it was like the freshest one, vocals weren't really panned out, yeah, we were kind of throwing rough ideas out there still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think also, like, we didn't actually hear it, you know, until we, like, sat down and heard it and then, like, added a few things and then we were like, oh, okay, this is, like, correct. Whereas, like, other songs, like, we kind of had heard more of, yeah, like, that's a good way in the it. demo process and, like, the recording process. So I think that was probably why it was so surprising, too, is because it was, like, the only one that wasn't totally fleshed out. Mm-hmm. Tambo pulled together. You're welcome. <laughs> that's <right. laughs> Tambo, always. All about that Tambo. Always. <laughs>
what's everyone been listening to lately? That's USA Nails. Yes, yeah. that fucking yeah. USA yeah. Nails yeah. record. Yeah. We're all yeah. like obsessed with uh, I had them scheduled for the podcast before the pandemic. What? Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> They're one of them. They've been stuck. Uh, they, are they from like overseas? Yeah, yeah. they are going to tour us stuck from Chicago and I had them both scheduled and then the pandemic. Ah, oh, boner. Sucks. Sucks. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. They're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're all very yeah. into them. Yeah, we're definitely all into that. Uh-huh. Uh, there's this new record that just came out. This band Nag from uh, Atlanta. Like, super, in, super into it. It's like post-punk stuff. Mm. Uh, maybe like a tiny drop of Misfits in there. Like, um, but mostly post-punk. I don't know. What Always else? Always Total Control. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Total, uh, Always. Clock of Time record. Oh yeah, that was like my favorite record from last year, that Clock of Time. I haven't heard that. Do you know the band, uh, do you know Diot, D-I-A-T? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's the singer from oh, Diot, yeah, oh, yeah. someone from Useless Eaters, and someone from uh, Vex. Sick. Uh, they put out an EP last year, and it's They're killer. very similar. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. if you like Diot, yeah, you'll, yeah. Same, sure. same exact vocals. Yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything yeah. else off the top of my head. I, I'm always checking out new new stuff. Yeah, he's always sending us records. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the problem is I, I listen to too much stuff. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely Tom lose player. track of it for sure. Uh, VR Sex, that new record was good. Yeah. EP, do some Drive Majesty. Oh, uh, that band. Yeah. Is, uh, uh, is it then? That, that record's cool. You ever mil- spelling? Military yeah. Gun. Oh, yeah, that Military Gun. Military yeah, Gun uh, EP, EP is really is cool. cool. Spelling? Spelling? Oh yeah, on um, what's it called? Sacred Bones, right? Yeah, like yeah. that weird ass, like super weird, uh, like I, jazzy. I gotta check this out. It's like Annie Lennox <laughs> type stuff. Yeah, real like like theatrical, but like oh awesome. I don't know. Yeah, okay. it's, weird, it's pretty. It's yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the cool. Sacred Bones is always putting out cool oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. Oh, something that just came out in the last few days. That new exec record. I haven't heard that. Oh, oh, yeah. You know that band? Yeah. yeah. E-X-E-K or something. E-X-E-K, yeah, yeah from uh, Australia. They put out a new record in the last few days, and it's awesome. Is that-
So, okay, kind of interested now, because most of those bands you listen to are like post-punk bands. Is that anything you would think of like, not adding into your band, but like, <laughs> does that influence ever come into uh, post-punk? Definitely band? does. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Right. I mean. Yeah. 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 I think we just we have like a lot of favorite influences, and mm-hmm. like when filtered through. Uh, a lot of things that tends to have like more I feel like a more like pop edge so it might sound more like a hardcore thing or more because it's like almost more of a s- I don't know what I'm trying to say I know what you mean, you know like, what I mean? the song like, structures the are the way that it gets filtered yeah, or whatever the way, it gets like, the way the influences get filtered we all also like I mean, come on. We all come from hardcore, like yeah. You know, yeah, whether, whether we're there right now or not, like we, we've all like said, we've all been in that yeah. world. Yeah. 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 Way too much it's going to come through sometimes. Yeah, yeah. 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 we've all come from. Yeah. Clearly, come from like we're not a hardcore scene. band, but there is like a certain production quality and song structure thing that that runs parallel to it mm-hmm. occasionally. You know. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah, can't help it. Just her though. That's, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, I'm, yeah, the three of us are. <laughs> where are you from? Originally? I'm from Doyle Sound. It's in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've hiked mm-hmm. around there. <laughs> huh? I've hiked around there. Yeah, there's some nice places to hike around there. <laughs> Can y'all think of any uh, unsung New Jersey area bands? Oh man, from growing up. Oh, from growing up. Or I mean, or absolutely. From now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, go on. Oh boy. How how unsung. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how on time we talk. I used to really love Holly. 
that Folly. Would be yeah, my, I remember them. Yeah. Folly would be my like they kind of got their they kind of got their flowers, <laughs> but like never really. They were a Scott metalcore band. Like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. horns. It was just like the upstrokes and then like breakdowns for some reason. <laughs> I only know that band because I used to see their sticker like. Everywhere. <laughs> they were a sticker uh, band for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Most yeah, definitely. Yeah, that, definitely. Well, that was a sticker time. Bali and the yeah, Band is yeah. a sticker yeah. band. Oh, God, the band. <laughs> big sticker uh, bands. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I'm, I'm North Jersey. That's my North Jersey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I don't know the divides between Jersey at all. It's once interesting. You get here, you East get North trend, Jersey, we're South Jersey. Yeah, yeah once you get a yeah. trend, you're in North Jersey. Gotcha. Yeah. They're New York fans. Well, uh, someone uh, might argue with you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say some shit. I don't know, man. It's worth enough. Yeah. Don't yeah. you give a shit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take your people back. Uh, yeah. Force that on us. <laughs> yeah. 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 Seriously. Trenton's just like doesn't want it. No one wants the claim. To it. <laughs> Trenton's Trenton's its own, the its own, the its own part. It, of it, it is its own thing it's for a, sure. Yeah. The first time I was ever on tour driving through Trenton and saw that Trenton makes the world takes thing on the bridge. Yeah, buddy. Like, Whoa. Yeah. 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 It's a hard ass fucking song. Yeah, it, is. it really it is. is. Yeah. It very, yeah, it's very, yeah, it's very um, So wait, what are the, what, some bands from South Jersey then? From, oh, see, so I was going to say, not, not a South Jersey band, but okay. it depends how unsung, <laughs> because this is like definitely cult classic shit, mm-hmm. but I still consider them unsung because they never really got their like comeuppance, but Dead Guy for sure. Oh, for oh, sure. Yeah. 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 And Kiss a Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you know, like yeah. some, they were popular amongst a, a lot of people at a certain time, but still culty, so like, mm-hmm. I'd say not as popular as they could have been. They never got like as popular as Botch, you know, yeah. So, yeah. and like they could have been, in my opinion. I think so. They were fucking mean, dude. Mm-hmm. South Jersey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, David there, Scott band. There's stuff. There's stuff. And if yeah. some of our friends listen to this, they'll be like, say it! You come on! Yeah, but I can't think of it right now, you know? Yeah. As we grow. Sure. Yeah. 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 Why not? That all turned into a life once lost. Oh, uh, true. Okay. Yeah. That's definitely unsung. It's probably, it's probably a lot more like unsung, like screamo bands. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I was trying to think of. Jersey. Yeah. Screamo and metalcore, probably. Yeah. Neil, pa- Neil Perry. Neil oh, Perry. Yeah. 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 That's a good oh, one. Yeah. All right. Neil I gotta Perry. shout out one band, man. I gotta shout out Black Juju. Black Juju was a black was was a black screamo band from North Jersey that I was just like, no one knew. I wish you were from Jersey. It felt like yeah. yeah. They played like one of the f- like old school Afro punks, but I remember just like yeah, black screamo band in like early two thousand. Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. How about That's co-side? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you metalcore, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I knew some of the metalcore bands. <laughs> That's all I knew. There was a strong Florida Jersey connection, I'm pretty sure, from when I was. <laughs> it the, was the biggest. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. The Florida, Florida New Jersey pipeline was <laughs> was real. Hell yeah, for and, sure. Uh, yeah. Last right, year yeah. in Under Oath played Philly, <laughs> played Jersey as much as they played Man. Florida. I feel yep. like. Oh yeah. Anything for the last few seconds of this podcast, y'all want to say? Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just leave it open. Just yeah. Yeah. Cool. Hell yeah. Thanks, y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much to Rid of Me for welcoming me to their New Jersey practice space. If you'd like to hear more from them, you can check out their bandcamp, ridofme.bandcamp.com. And they're also on Instagram and Twitter at ridofmeband. If you'd like to get in touch with me about the podcast, you can email underthefirstfloor at gmail.com. Or you can find it on Instagram at underthefirstfloor and on Twitter at UTFF Podcast. You can also check out underthefirstfloor.bandcamp.com to see the old mixtapes, of which the second one still has a couple of tapes left if you'd like a copy before Volume 3 comes out in the coming weeks. Very excited to have that. For the last couple of songs, I'm going to leave you with a couple tracks that were recommended by Rid of Me earlier in the episode. The first one being from a band called Clock of Time, a song called Companion. This is from their record, Pestilent Planet, out on the Great Static Shock Records. Uh, They're a post-punk band from Berlin uh, with members of Diet, Useless Eaters, and Vex. And of those bands, Diet put out one of my favorite records of the last decade. So definitely check them out if you haven't heard them as well. 
And the last song will be from a band called Nag, a song called Dragon Fat. It's from their self-released record, Observer. They're an uh, Atlanta punk band who's been around since 2015 and have put out some very quality recordings. So definitely check out their back catalog as well. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a good week. Stay safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. This is a